Hey guys and welcome. Uh, right now I'm going to go over some uh, things that hopefully will help you. I'm guessing you're trying to uh, disable the system integrity protection with your 2009-2010 Mac Pro. Uh, you're probably encountering some of the same issues that I was uh, coming around with. That being uh, not being able to get into your uh, recovery partition drive to get into the terminal to disable the SIP. So uh, I'm kind of going to go over some something that finally helped me get there after about three days of doing this, uh, after a lot of helpful forums and a lot of helpful people. I was finally able to get the uh, 5.1 on my Mac Pro, so I'm going to kind of go over some things that I did there. So uh, the reasons for not having a recovery partition are, uh, I'm going to leave it right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, basically stating if your Mac is really old, running a Mac OS Snow Leopard or older, uh, your Mac is running a version of Mac OS older than Sierra, um, keyboard might be faulty. This is probably what applies to me for mine since I bought it on eBay and it was already kind of messed with beforehand. Uh, something might have corrupted the recovery partition or you might have deleted it while replacing your hard drive. So I'm guessing that's how my recovery partition is non-existent. So uh, that's uh, some other reasons why it's not there. Basically, in order to get around this, you're going to have to do something called a uh, boot drive. Essentially what that is, is you're going to get a USB flash drive. I would recommend at least 8 gigabytes. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to download a Mac operating system. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one at this point because we're not really going to install it on the computer. It is just another way of getting to the recovery partition menu to get into the terminal to turn off the SIP, the system integrity protection. So the way uh, that I had to go about doing this with a lot of helpful forums, and you may want to uh, get a USB drive that doesn't have anything on it because we're going to format it uh, and pretty much erase everything off it. So if you don't have one you want to part with, I would suggest going to somewhere and getting at least an 8GB um, uh, USB. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the disk utility that's basically found down here, your launch pad. You're going to go into this folder other and you're going to go to disk utility. It will then pull up uh, your hard drive that's in here. I'm doing this on my iMac uh, just to create the boot drive. Uh, this is my iMac drive. This is going to be your USB. I already have it formatted but I'll kind of go over you have your media, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually erase it, we're going to format it. So what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm going to leave the name untitled, and you're going to want to select Mac OS Extended Journaled, GUID Partition Map, Erase, you're going to let it do its thing, it's going to unmount it, it's going to delete everything on there, just reformatting it, making it new. So once this is done, you're going to hit done, you're going to go down to this one down here, I would recommend saying, naming this my uh, volume because uh, I'm going to put a link in the description when we have to go to the terminal and this will just kind of help you copy and paste it onto your terminal so you don't have to write all the gibberish into it. Uh, this one you're also going to erase, uh, of course naming it my volume and you're going to want Mac OS extended journal on this. You're going to hit erase and it's going to do the uh, formatting. Uh, once again. So now you have your My Volume drive and it should be good to go and it's cleared off. So what you'll have to do now is we're going to install an operating system. I would recommend going into Google, typing in, uh, I'm using High Sierra, High Sierra operating system install. Uh, you're going to click on the Apple website that takes you to a screen that looks like this and uh, go down here and you're going to, if you still need uh, Mac OS High Sierra, use App Store link. So I'm going to click this. It's going to take me to the App Store. Um, it's going to take me to the App Store. I had to do this because when I went to the App Store, it didn't find it. I put High Sierra and it wouldn't come up with anything. So I had to go through Google to do this. So once I have this, you're going to download this. 
You're going to click download. And like I said, you can use Mojave, Sierra, whatever you want, because we're not actually going to install it on our system. So this is going to download. OK, so this is done downloading. Now you'll notice if you're going to go to, uh, you're going to go to your finder and your applications, uh, you're going to find the uh, install Mac OS High Sierra. Now you can't uh, automatically go in and if you've read ahead of time and pasted it into the terminal, it's not going to work. Uh, basically because it's not the whole download file. So if you click on it, right click, and you get the info from it, it's only going to show that it's 22.7 megabytes. And the whole install is actually 5 gigs worth. So what you'll have to do is it will you're going to click on it. It's going to bring up this box. It'll do it after it downloads. Uh, you're going to uh, hit OK and continue. And this is where you're going to download the actual file of Mac OS High Sierra. Uh, you're going to read through and agree. Uh, you're going to agree. Now, um, what you're going to do if you're doing this on another computer, which I am, uh, Mac OS High Sierra will be installed on the disk. Uh, this is my iMac disk, and I really don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit Show All Disk, and it's going to show the USB drive that I have in here that I have already formatted. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to hit Install. I'm going to put in my password. Uh, and now basically you're just going to wait for this to download to your uh, USB drive. Very importantly, when this stops and it completes its download, it's going to automatically prompt you to restart. It's actually not going to give you the option. It's just going to go into a restart. You don't want to do that because then it will your computer will go through this 30-minute thing and not actually install it on your USB drive. So it's very important that you watch this all the way through until it gets to the end to where you can stop it to where it won't restart your computer. It's very important you don't let it restart. And the way to stop this once it uh, goes into restart, you can't hit an X because it doesn't appear. So the way to do that when it says it's going to restart is to go up here where it says install macOS High Sierra. Hit this drop down and you're going to quit install macOS. And that will cancel the restart of your computer, and it will keep it on your USB drive. That is the whole file to do it. All right, guys, we're 20 seconds in. Uh, very important for the restart. If you click on the home screen, it will not show to uh, the macOS High Sierra installer. You will not be able to uh, stop it from restarting. So you'll have to click on this window, and it'll give you that option uh, just to clarify in case that happens to you. Uh, it's very important that you do not restart your computer when this is done installing. Can't stress that enough. All right, so it's going to restart. We're going to go up to install Mac OS High Sierra. Quit install Mac OS. All right, so now we should be able to go under our finder. Uh, I'm going to go into the uh, one that we just created, our USB drive, and you're going to have this file right here. What you're going to do is you're going to copy all of these here. Uh, I'm going to copy seven items. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your applications and you're going to find your install macOS High Sierra. This is the one that's the uh, one that isn't the full one, the 22 megabyte. So once you click on this, you're going to right click Show Package Contents. You're going to go to Package Contents. Now you're in your Contents folder. Uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to right click and you're going to create a new folder inside this. You're going to put in your password uh, to create if you have it locked, which it may be on yours. Uh, now this is going to be called, uh, you're going to name this Shared Support. Shared Support, all one word. You're going to click on this uh, file and you're going to paste seven items. This is going to be the full five gig uh, version of the operating system install. So it's going to paste it into that partial uh, Mac OS High Sierra, the stub drive, and it's going to put the actual full five gig uh, Mac OS High Sierra uh, install, the five gig. So very important we do that.
All right, so now we have all of this with our actual install in our macOS High Sierra installer. So now if we do get info, it will show that we have 5.23 gigs of install macOS High Sierra. All right, guys, so now that we have macOS High Sierra installed, we're going to do a go to our terminal, which is basically you go to Launchpad down here, other terminal. Uh, so once you have your terminal open, uh, you got to put in a bunch of gibberish. I will try to put a link in the description that might work for you where you can just copy and paste, but if you want to go ahead and do it, uh, this is how. Even if I did put it in the uh, description below, you might have to add some stuff to it from your own computer. But uh, anyway, but it's very important from earlier that you name your USB my volume uh, to do this. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to put sudo, S-U-D-O. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to hit space, and then you're going to go over your install macOS High Sierra. Show package contents. You're going to right click to get this, by the way. Show contents. Uh, you're going to hit the contents, go to resources, and you're going to go to this one here. It says create and install media. You're going to click and drag into this window. It's going to put in some more code. Once you do that, you're going to hit dash dash volume. Uh, once you do that, uh, hit space. Uh, you're going to click your USB drive that's on your desktop, and you're going to click and drag it onto there. And you're going to click the window once again when you're done. Um, then you're going to go back to where your macOS High Sierra installer is in your applications, and you're going to click and drag. You click the window, you're going to hit enter. You're going to put in your password to log into your computer. It's not going to show the letters, but uh, it is accepting it. All right, and then it's ready to start. Now, it's very important that you put in wherever I said to put a space. It's very important you do that because if you don't, it'll start throwing error messages. Uh, I was throwing error messages trying to figure this out, and I could not figure out what the deal was. So I started putting spaces in between, and like especially here with volume, you want to hit space bar and then drag it and then it should work. Uh, that's at least what I've done the last couple times and it's worked uh, back to back. So it's just important that you uh, put space between some of these here. So uh, it's gonna say, can you need to erase the volume at volume my volume? If you wish to continue type Y and then you say Y and then enter. And then it will start to erase the disk and it will start creating a boot drive, a bootable drive on your USB uh, to boot up to on your uh, installer. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be copying your installer files to the disk. This may take a while because it's installing the whole system installer on there. So it, it is going to take a little bit. So just be patient, wait for it to finish. Uh, should say complete when it's done and then you will have a boot driver and then we'll continue on when mine is finished. Okay, so now uh, it has copied the all the files, uh, installer files to the disk, your USB drive. It says copy complete. Uh, it will go to the uh, little message here, making disk bootable, copying boot file, all that jazz. Now you should have a bootable drive from your uh, USB. So it'll say install macOS, or let me bring it here, install macOS I Sierra. So that is what you want to shoot for. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you what you'll have to do next. I'm going to switch over to my uh, GoPro. Sorry for any uh, shaky footage because obviously I can't do a screen recording while I'm booting up my computer. So uh, bear with me. And I'll show you that. All right, so I'm on my GoPro now. Once again, sorry for the shaky footage. I will say uh, what we're going to do is we're going to restart your computer. It's going to go through the restart. Once you hear the bah, uh, tone, you're going to hold down the uh, option key. 
holding down the option key while it's booting will take you to the operating system startup manager and that is where you can load your bootable drive so we're going to go ahead and restart it now close it restart once again this is the option key all right looks like it's going to boot up here there it is i'm holding option option just just hold it while it's booting and it will take you to the startup manager so i'm still holding it okay here we go now we are at this screen so basically this is your regular hard drive this is a recovery that this is my iMac, not my Mac Pro, so it actually has a recovery partition. If I had that on my Mac Pro, I wouldn't have to do this. But uh, what your uh, bootable drive will look like will be this. Uh, it'll have this gold indicator for your ejectable one. So what I'm going to do is you're going to select this one, which will be your bootable drive, and you're going to hit the arrow. It will then go into this uh, Apple screen, and it'll start with this loading bar. Once it starts loading and it gets all the way done it will actually take you into the screen that you need to be in to uh, turn off your um, your sip so and guys don't worry if this uh, takes a while um, it's already been like I don't know a minute at least if not two minutes but it takes its sweet time to get there so if it's doing that on your end, really, it's nothing to worry about. It's just booting up. Uh, I'm sorry, that's uh, my laptop. Sounds like it's going to take off. Sorry about the noise. All right, guys, so it looks like it finally booted. Like I said, if it takes a long time to boot into the screen, that's okay. But uh, yeah, you've made it to that uh, very screen that you were looking for. So this is what it'll look like, and you're going to go into your uh, menu bar up here. You're going to, of course, hit Utilities, Terminal. Once that comes up, uh, of course, you probably already know <laughs> what it is you need to put in, but just in case you don't remember, it is CSR util and then disable and then you're going to hit enter and then it will disable uh, actually if you uh, don't uh, remember if it's actually active or not you can hit CSR util status and it'll tell you if it's enabled or not which it probably is so once then you of course hit CSR util disable hit enter once it's done uh, close the window and then, of course, go in, restart the computer, and then it will be disabled. And then you can go ahead and flash the firmware manually. And, yeah, there you go. Should be good to go. Uh, well, hopefully that helped you guys. Uh, I know that's what worked for me in order to uh, get it when there was no recovery partition. Uh, really hope this is helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one.